uh, visions of pint-sized pie making with the kids on Thanksgiving Day. That's the picturesque magazine photo, right? That we'd all like to imagine happens in our own space. Well, you can dress those kids in easy-to-make aprons that will make them feel special, too. Make them feel part of the process and part of the fun. Helping us do that today is our favorite seamstress, sewer extraordinaire. That's Chris Thurgood from my girlfriend's quilt shop. You call this an easy sew recipe. So how oh, easy? You know, I'll tell you, it just doesn't get any easier. It really doesn't because you're using a tea towel, which is a commonly used thing that you can pick up, you know, kitchen item, at whether it's at the quilt shop or at the kitchen store, you know, it's easy to find. So regular so size, standard size, regular, regular tea towel? size tea towels, and this is going to make it really, really simple. Okay, very little sewing is involved in this project. What kind of weight or fabric, or is there a special kind of tea towel we're looking for? No, not necessarily. Um, mainly, what you're going to be looking for is a design that you like. And you I was know? going to say, you walk so, through the kitchen supply yes. store, there are more towels than I have room for in oh, my kitchen. Oh, just yes. With the color and the pattern. Yes. Long gone are the days of just white towels. I yeah. mean, you've got lots of pattern and, and color and some fun designs. So, you know, the easiest way to do this is just to find the towel that you absolutely love Okay. and make that as your apron itself. So, for example, you know, this is a perfect one mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving. It has some great Maybe fall colors. Maybe not for this belly, but whatever. <laughs> this know, is not going to reach okay. around. That's all right. Okay. And then, you know, this one right here, you know, has a Cute. great text on it, and you've got the, you know, farm animals. So that would be a very, very simple version, okay? This would be for an adult. If you're going to use a full-size towel, that is going to be an, for an so adult-size apron. this turned yeah. vertical would be your Turn adult apron. Apron. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, when we're talking about the kids, the really fun thing is, you know, grandmas, moms out there with young kids, this is going to be super oh. fun and super easy These because you can do two aprons out of one tea towel. Oh. Okay. So two aprons out of t one tea towel. So uh, let's take, for example, these two right here. Uh -huh. They both came from the same tea towel. Added a cute little applique um, on the front. Yeah. You know, where you're just taking a, a basic picture. So here I did a leaf and an acorn uh -huh. to go along with Thanksgiving. And pockets. Yes. And then you add pockets to it too. And that's really simple as well because you're just folding the fabric in half and then adding, uh, you know, top stitching around to make the pockets there. You've manipulated so the kids the are going to love it. You've manipulated the shape of the tea towel a little bit on the inset right here yeah, in the arms. Yeah, because you want to be able to have room for the arms. So let me show you how that's done. Um, These are so cute. For example, we've got the one tea towel. I'm going back to our two little children's aprons here. So if I were to take this apron and cut it directly in half, mm -hmm. then I've got two separate... Um, Aprons, right? Pieces, yeah. Okay. So let's say that this was cut in half, mm -hmm. and you just think of it almost like an A line. So I'm going to fold this towards the middle, okay, and this corner towards the middle, and look, now I have okay. You're right. My this perfect is shape. So easy. Okay. Really, really simple. Now I could make it a little more complicated by adding a casing, so I could string ribbon through. Oh, to go around the neck. To go around the neck and to go around the sides, or I could make it really simple. Simply stick stitch this seam down, uh -huh. stitch right here down, and then just add my ribbon at the very top. Just loop it around yep. and then stretch it across. Exactly. And then just have it coming out oh from the gosh, sides. Look at this ribbon. So <laughs> I die. Is that great? Why don't I sew? This because is great. This. Great twill tape Cute. there. I love it. Love it. So that's how that's your basic, you know, how to get that shape. You're gonna just you know, fold it in towards the center mm -hmm. and you have that shape. Now, another way to do this, um, let's take, for example, this apron right over here. The waistband? At the waistband. I could take that apron that I had just cut in half. Mm -hmm. Then I could take a strip of fabric. And what I've done here was I started out with six inches wide. Okay. Okay. I folded it in towards the center, towards the center, mm -hmm. and one more time. So I have this waistband that all I'm going to do is open this up one more time. Okay. And I'm going to place the towel there it goes. right in the center, and voila, it just fits right in there. And then take it to my sewing machine and I'm gonna start from one end and just sew just all sew the right way down. Through. And that's what we did here. The fun thing about this um, this apron right here uh -huh. is that 
this cute little trim was already part oh, of the stop. tea towel. You didn't even have to add that. I didn't even have to add little that. Little teal ruffle at the exactly. bottom. Exactly. So find something that already has some fun ruffle or or fun mm -hmm. trim or fun ribbon I've on even it. I have seen an anthropology for you. Palms already hanging from the bottom of a tea Absolutely. towel. Absolutely. Exactly. So so when you go shopping, look for some fun tea towels that are unique. Have a fun little trim and use it to your advantage to be able to you know add that trim yes. without having to add anything else. Almost out of time, one quick detail that I love on this little yes. waistband apron here, you added kind of a toss towel. Yeah, exactly. So this was a tea towel that we just cut in half. And because we always need something to wipe our hands on, I took the other half of the tea towel that was once as a whole right. and just added a little button hole How right genius there. genius is that? And so then that way you've got something to wipe your hands and throw it off. It's too cute. I would never actually use it machine. for that, but That's I might right. hang it on the wall. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do mother-daughter matching aprons. Exactly. Grandma, granddaughter, yes. get in the kitchen. Yes. They'll feel so grown up and special. Oh, they will. There's cute. nothing like, you know, having that apron on and feeling a part of things All in right. the kitchen. Look for those cute yes. tea towels because now you have the project inspiration to yes. put them to work. I imagine the shop is in full holiday swing. Absolutely. Yeah. This is our busiest time of year. We've got a great um, event going on in Logan, handmade for the holidays. It says Saturday after Thanksgiving, so okay. we invite you to come up to that. And then in, at our Midway store, we have uh, a Swiss Christmas. So if you love, you know, all the Christmas hubbub that goes on in, in uh, Heber and Midway area, you can't miss a Swiss Christmas first weekend of December. We now get to celebrate yes. those two locations of my girlfriend's yes. clothes shop in Cache Valley and up in Midway. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Super fun project. We Thanks. appreciate it.